I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. Today, we are confronted with concerning news regarding the British monarchy. King Charles II is currently undergoing treatment for an undisclosed cancer, which was disclosed by Buckingham Palace in Feb. Additionally, another senior member of the royal family is also battling cancer. Our main focus today is on the recent health update of Princess Catherine. As many of you may know, she recently received a cancer diagnosis, leading her to temporarily step back from her royal duties. Initially, medical reports indicated a non-cancerous condition after her major abdominal surgery in January. However, subsequent tests revealed the presence of cancer, prompting her to begin a course of preventative chemotherapy. In a heartfelt video statement, Princess Catherine, also known as Kate, expressed her shock at the diagnosis. She shared that she and Prince William have been managing the situation privately to ensure the well-being of their young family. Despite the challenges, she remains optimistic and focused on her recovery. As Princess Catherine sat on the bench, a hint of nervousness was visible in her demeanor. She conveyed her message with deep sadness, especially as a mother of three children, showing her concern for both her health and her adorable kids. Now, let's hear what Princess Catherine shared in her video message. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous, said Catherine, 42, who is married to the heir to the British throne, Prince William. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I am now in the early stages of that treatment. Kate continued that, William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. The princess added, It has taken time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that is appropriate for them and to reassure them that I am going to be okay. Kate said that she had told them 
She is well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and the spirit. She praised Prince William for being by her side, a great source of comfort and reassurance, as well as the support she's received from the public. We hope that you will understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I am able, but now I must focus on making a full recovery, the princess said. She ended her heartfelt message by saying that she was also keeping all those whose lives have been affected by cancer in her thoughts. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose hope or faith. You are not alone. Kate concluded in the video statement, which was filmed by BBC Studios and Winster on Wednesday. This has impacted the royal family and we respect their decision to prioritize privacy and focus on Kate's recovery during this challenging period. Thank you all for watching our videos and let's end by sending prayers and best wishes to all those fighting health issues with special prayers for Princess Catherine's speedy recovery.